Hello everyone and welcome back and we're from the team. Last week we tried some physics and engineering with popsicle sticks and this week's team maker kit will be trying out some homemade sketch art. You can get all the materials you need for this project from the library with curbside pickup or by having a parent come in and grab the kit for you. Um, and they can drop by any time between 9.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Um, it's always a good idea to let us know you're on your way by calling 708-547-7393. Um, and these kits have been very popular, so my suggestion is to come as early as you can after the video is posted and get your kit before they run out. If you've done scratch art in the past, uh, maybe at home or at school, um, this might be what you're used to seeing. You can get a kit like this on Amazon. Um, and if you wanted to make your own, there are definitely tutorials online on how to make um, scratch art paper similar to this. Today, we're going to end up using CDs instead as our canvas so that that nice shiny backing on the CD is what will come shining through when we chip away at the black paint. We've got a really simple kit this week. There's a blank CD, a bundle of toothpicks, a paintbrush, some black paint, and a sketch sheet. Now, we've done a recording all ahead of time, so I'm going to give you a voiceover while we watch this one here. Um, and we're going to jump right in. Alright, so you're going to grab that CD in your kit and you're going to go ahead and put the black paint straight onto that shiny backing. Um, it'll look really neat when you chip away at that paint um, and you can see your image underneath. Um, but you're going to go ahead and paint all the way up to the circle in the middle, covering the entire thing. Once you finish that first coat, um, my suggestion is to let it dry and put on at least a second or maybe even a third coat. Well, I finished painting that, um, you are definitely going to want to pull that sketch sheet out and brainstorm what you want to put on your CD before you start chipping away the paint. That way you don't get halfway through your image and realize there's not enough space for what you want to do. It'll look like this once it's dried, and that's when you can start chipping away at the paint. This is my drawing here. I'm going to do an undersea scape with some bubbles, sea anemones. And once I know what I'm going to draw, I can go ahead and unpack those um, toothpicks and get started right away. Now I did run into some issues. I was pressing um, rather hard at some points and a few of the tips in my toothpicks broke. Um, if you're having that problem um, and you go through all of the toothpicks in your kit, a pencil is another good idea. Um, it doesn't break as easily as a toothpick and so it can help you chip away at that paint on the CD. If you're having trouble coming up with an idea for a project, my suggestion is to go do a Google image search of scratch art CDs. There's a lot of great art that's already been done out there um, that can help you come up with ideas. Or maybe you want to imitate what someone's already done. Um, there's a lot of different patterns, a lot of um, scenes that you can put on, on your, you know, a CD or you know, animals that you might try. So I'm not going to complete my entire drawing. I'm going to take a lot of time. If you guys, by this point, you see that it's just, you know, pick away at it and chip away until you've got the image that you want. Um, but I will show you what this looks like and then the finished product of a different drawing that I did. So here's my anemone and a couple bubbles. Um, and here it is compared to the drawing that I've done. I also did this um, cityscape with a boat on the water, and that one is a finished product. And it does take quite a bit of time, but um, you guys are really all set to go. 
Thanks again for joining me this uh, as we our team maker project. Next time, we'll be doing a low-tech electronic art piece. And if that sounds intriguing to you, I hope you'll um, catch our next video that comes out in two weeks. Um, and then pick up the kit and follow along with that as well. See you soon.